you know how hard it is to do these lines in pitch blackness? The white has to line up perfectly with the black and it's all dark. When it looked good, you were very, very happy. And when it didn't look good, you could always blame it. Oh, it was so dark, it was so cold, I was so stone. Some excuse. I believe I, I, I was a natural born artist. I'm a free spirit and I can't really hold on uh, a, a nine to five job. I'm just an artist all throughout. So all I can do is create. I was going to be an architect as I grew up. But what I didn't like at the age of 16 was all the mathematics and all the rules and regulations that comes with architecture. I had no patience for that. All I wanted to do was paint wild and big and colorful and be free. In America, during the 1970s, the feminist movement was very strong. The ladies were proving to the world that, that women could do anything. We can do absolutely everything. I was standing up to the boys when they say, you can't write graffiti because you're a girl. And I was like, oh, of course I can, and I will prove it to you. And so I had to prove it. And each week I would go to a train yard with the guys, and I couldn't come back to the school and prove and admit failure in any way. That was not an option. When I was very young, I was very quiet and very shy, and being involved in the graffiti world definitely gave me confidence. It, it, it built, uh, gave me a backbone. I became loud and, and like a tough girl when I'm really not. I'm just a big softie, but you have to you know, develop a different persona if you're going to be lurking in the ghettos amongst rough people. I don't understand why women are not into video games very much and it seems to be more of a guy thing. I don't get that. I absolutely don't understand why. It's so much fun to be able to shoot things and get your aggression out in a virtual way, in a playing around way. Graffiti has been a, a, an, an expression of art for me as well as vandalism. So after growing up from being a teenager, um, I developed more into an artist. So graffiti became more of like a school. I, we see it as like it was at the university for most of us all. So for the past 10 years, I've been working with the Frank Sinatra School of the Arts, which is an art high school in Queens, New York. And what I choose to do is paint murals with the kids. I give them that opportunity. So I get really, really big walls and then I let the kids design the work. They draw it themselves. And then I help them put it up in an amazing big scale, lots of color out there in the public with people walking by and saying, great job, great job. And there is nothing like that to build character and confidence in a kid. Um, I originally come from Ecuador. My mother um, has comes from a plantation in the Amazon rainforest. So when I was a very little girl, um, I lived in the Amazon rainforest. So I, I have a big fondness for animals and birds. She's new. She's only been here, only been here a few days. Also rescued from outdoors. They released them in the park, like 50 of them for a wedding or something. They were just going to stick around and die, so some rescue people were picking them up. This one flew all the way to my house, which was very far, and I picked them up one night. And he's been mine ever since. Why did I move to the countryside? I got tired of the police raids. I had one too many police raids in, in New York City 
The last time was in about eight months ago. The police came into my house. This time they came in with shields and helmets and a SWAT team, a truck outside, and there was dozens of policemen coming into my hallway. They pulled me out of my house in my bare feet and they sat me in a police car for an hour. But then the one they brought me back into the house was to see the vandal squad, the graffiti police, going through all my stuff. They made me sit in, on, a, on a sofa and watch them rob me. They took all my spray paint. They took books and photos and my computers. They took away my husband. to get your mind into an alpha state to create art. You can't just be aware of the world. You have to click your mind into a different mode that artists go into. And the best way to get in there, sometimes it's altered state, is, is weed. You gotta smoke some weed and get your brain working in there. Put on some loud music, you get into the mood. Whether you feel like it or not, it is incredibly taxing and difficult. It takes a big toll out of you to continuously create every, every day. But it's work that I like to do, and you definitely have to work at what you love, or life is meaningless. <laughs>